Say hi, Dwayne. Hello. Well, today it's the 31st of August. It's now dark, so me and Dwayne are going to dig a hole. Um, tomorrow, the 1st of September, marks the start of one thing. This is Team Foxer. Oh, it's early o'clock, D-Day, we're not far from the farm and we're off goose shooting. Dwayne's put a decoys in last night when he got in, so we will see what this morning brings. A little bit of rain and the wind has very slightly changed direction, but we should still be in the right place. Robin's had his first kill of the morning already on the way here. Yeah, I bowled a rabbit over on the way in. So, uh, Robin won, rest of the team nil, unless they had anything on the way over. Oh, look, it wasn't an intentional kill. The thing just ran out in front of the car. That's about the easiest one of the lot, isn't it? Dude, it's good. You've got a proper bloke on the end of the fucking spade. <laughs> Well, Chris made it look easy, but believe me, that soil was baked and it's like clay. Very heavy going. Anyway, after we'd got all four holes dug, it was time to get the decoys out. And we were starting this morning's session with rather a lot of decoys. A good plethora of full-bodied, along with some silo socks and standard plastic decoys. Now it was Dwayne here that actually invited me on this morning's session um, and this is some footage that Dwayne had got from his previous day's reconnaissance on this field. In fact he's actually been watching this field for the last few days now so since harvest the geese have just grown and swelled in numbers day by day. So as our guide Chris goes to get rid of his truck, Dwayne all of a sudden realises he's forgotten a fairly vital piece of kit. So I'm currently on the way home, luckily I only live half a mile away from where we're shooting. I forgot the most important thing of the morning, my gun. What a plum, didn't even get it out of the cabinet. So I'm just off on the way home, it's five o'clock and I feel a bit of a prat. Meanwhile, back in that, the field. That, you know that wood there, were we the other side of that last year? Yeah, you see that telling us that big pile on there, look, in the middle, there's three of them, look. Yeah. Yeah, the middle one. Yeah. Nowhere near theirs. You twat. <laughs> uh, there's a little wood in the distance, can you see it? No. My eyes are crap in the dark. Yeah, just. Just the other side of that, mate. How the, how the hell I managed to hit anything is amazing. What time can we expect company? Uh, well, the start is move anywhere between six and uh, quarter past. The start is moving. So, so there's Jez in his bomb hole. See the decoys. And Robin. And Chris is fast asleep somewhere in the background over there. I can hear funny noises coming from Chris's hole. Yeah. The, that's the spread we've got. I don't know if you can see it quite yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got about we've got we've got th thirty-six shells out, half a dozen full bodies, and about forty 
silent filler socks and wind socks mixed. So we've got a good spread. There we go. Geese are going to come from that direction, either that side of the wood swinging round and coming up, or coming up, or far side coming up. So, we'll wait and see how we get on. Fingers crossed. Well, it turns out the geese came a little bit early. It's actually only quarter to six at the minute. The reason Dwayne's camera looks a little bit lighter than mine is I'm recording in 60 frames a second, whereas Dwayne's only recording at 30 frames a second, so it lets a bit more light in. We allow this first skein to circle round, as they often do, uh, and waited for them to come a little bit closer on their second flight in uh, before Chris gave the order for us to get stuck in. Two. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was fairly close to my height. There was a fairly big gap for the second skein to come in, but when they did come in, boy, they really came. Just check this lot out, whiffling in. Uh, probably a little bit too quick for my liking. Oh, final shot! By the time we actually got shooting, they were almost on top of the end of the barrel. That's what it seemed like. So, of course, I shot under the first one, clipped the second one, of which Dwayne very kindly finished off for me, and just about managed to nail that third one with the last shot. <laughs> Only got one there. But by now the adrenaline had started to settle down and the geese were coming fairly thick and fast. Well, I'm fairly sure it was a triple. I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this a triple or did I share this second bird with Dwayne? Oh, triple! Well, I'm not too sure. Like I said, I think I'll let you guys be the judge of it. Here it is from the shot cam's perspective. I very could have easily have shared that bird, but I'm pretty confident the first and most definitely that last bird there was a headshot goose. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. I've got some great content coming up that I've been out filming over the last few weeks. I've been out with Hick Micro's uh, Lynx Pro Thermal Unit, the LH19, a fantastic entry level thermal unit this plus I've had a good friend of mine Chris uh, come visit from up north and I take him out to see if we can get him his first Cambridgeshire fox as we've got the harvest in there are plenty of foxes moving about so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that anyway let's get back on with the goose shooting if we have a tidy really well just collect what we can and lay, lay them all out and then if you see any more coming we'll have to bring them back to the eyes yeah.
You'll notice Dwayne not getting out of his hole there. He's quite happy and content to let me, Chris and Jez do all the legwork. Hmm. Claims he's got a bit of a bad back all of a sudden. He has another scheme coming. Yeah. yeah. I think it's safe to say I've got my eye in now. Watch him, look. He's going to go down here, look. Watch him. Fuck, that's some good shooting there. Yeah. Watch that one of you. Two coming back. Some more coming back. <laughs> So this is the third pick up of the morning. You see, I've got a bad back so the boys are picking up from me this morning. And uh, they're doing good food down. Sir. I'll tell you what, carrying one's alright, or even two, but you get three in each arm, it soon make your arms ache. This here is the slow-mo from that last triple that I managed, a nice one and two to begin with, uh, and then a climbing goose that unfortunately took the full brunt straight to the head. Well, it's nothing if not humane. I'm using HP 38 gram number two shot cartridges out of my Winchester SX3 uh, with an extended Teague choke. That's my setup. And it very, very rarely misses a beat. However, here, I got myself a little bit of a jam. <laughs> look at that one there, look, Wayne, towards the tree, look. Yeah. He's just inside that, where that big tree is, look, he's fucking jammed up. Yeah, I jammed again. 
There's another stream coming. After just over an hour's worth of fairly intense shooting, we all decided that we'd probably had just about enough, uh, so it was time to start thinking about packing up. No shot, gentlemen. Well, we've called it, we're going to let a food come, the stalls come in the distance coming, but we've decided to let them come, we've had a good morning. I think we've all shot exceptionally well. I do. What say you, Robin? It's been a bloody good morning, that. Dad, hasn't it? There were some very close birds and some yeah. well shot birds. I mean, that first skein that come in, first skein of the year, eight out of ten was it we got down? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's still some birds flying in the distance and that. Oh, yeah. Who's up? Well guys, we've come to the end of the session. Thanks to Chris's expert guide uh, and decoy pattern, we've managed to get 45 head. I think it's 45 head uh, and a duck. I've had an absolute blast uh, and I'm sure these guys have as well. Dwayne's uh, behind the camera. Thank, uh, thanks to Dwayne for doing some of the video. So um, I hope we've, hopefully we've got plenty of good footage uh, to share and you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Take care, stay safe, and as always, happy shooting. Once again, thank you very much for stopping by. It was my pleasure to bring you this content. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Take care, stay safe, you know the rest.